This is my manual excavator thumb. I bought this a little less than a year ago. It's been super handy. I should have bought one way sooner. Honestly, I didn't because I always kind of planned to make one. And then it turned out you can buy them on Amazon for less than the price of the steel somehow. So anyway, I bought one. They didn't have quite the right size in stock. So I bought one that was too long and I cut it off. And when it came time to decide where to cut it off, I realized I didn't know what I wanted since I'd never used a thumb before. I didn't know where exactly I wanted the end of the thumb to line up with the teeth of the bucket. Fortunately, I own a welder, so all of my mistakes are undoable. So I just picked a spot and cut it. I've been using it for a while. It's super handy, but I do wish it was a little bit longer. I wish that these teeth, they're a little bit shy of the teeth of my bucket right now. And I wish they were a little bit longer. Fortunately, I kept the piece I cut off and I'm going to weld it back on. I'm going to just take this and put it there-ish. Also, I pick up a lot of round stuff, logs and things, and so I'd like it to be a little bit more aggressive on the curve than it was. So we can fix both those problems right now. This should be a pretty straightforward, fun little welding project. All I got to do is cut the used bit off there, weld the old end of it back on, throw it back on the machine.
All right, I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. It's about what I was picturing, a little bit of overhang from the bucket teeth to the thumb. Shape looks good, the length looks good. The welds look decent, which is good for me. If you're wondering why blue uh, <laughs> was on sale. But yeah, that's all there is to this project. Time to put it into use. So up next, something else.